We're going right into it. Player 1 put an ace pilot next to this house right here, and player 2 put gold pyros near the start. They have to be gold. By the way, this is a side note. You kind of have to be on top of this strat at the start, so make sure to be focused. Player 1 is going to get two level 2 minis around the ace pilot, and player 2 is going to do the same thing, but just put one mini. By wave 9, player 2 will place one level 1 mortar as plan B. At the end of wave 9, both players should just put DPS towers to kill Ripped Elf. Now that map 1 is finished, you're going to get thrown up into the air like you're in the Fortnite Travis Scott concert, be ready to place towers. Player 1 will put a max ace and one level 2 commander, remember to keep using the ability when you can. Player 2 will place two level 3 pyros and then get three level 3 mortars. During wave 11, player 1 will get a level 2 mini and player 2 gets a level 2 DJ. The following wave, player 2 will get one more level 3 mortar and get them all to level 4. By the end of wave 12, player 1 will have a mini on the left side to kill this hidden here. During this wave, player 1 will place a mini gunner on the right and and player 2 will place a level 3 mini here. Now, map 2 is almost over. Player 1 simply place the minis on this left side and right side again, basically doing the same thing you just did. And player 2, you are now going to spam level 2 minis in the middle. When spamming level 2 minis, try to put the minis on the side that the gatekeeper is going on. Alright, now we're on to the final map. Now before you do this, let me finish. Player 1 will place 3 level 2 commanders and keep chaining them right after player 2 places a max DJ. Player 1 now places 6 max minis and player 2 places 2 level 3 pyros, along with 4 level 4 mortars and 3 max minis. Once you have spent your absurd amounts of money, player 1 saves up for 1 max commander, then just spams max minis for the rest of the game. Player 2 saves up for max mortars, max pyros, and then spams max minis until the final wave, then you will get a max medic. Remember to use the ability right after Krampus is done stunning and then sell medic to replace it so you can have the ability back. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of money to sell and replace it. All right, now these are just reminders. Remember to sell and replace towers when necessary, chain the commanders, use the medic, and you should win. And if that was too confusing, we have a strat doc in the discord of this strat the link to the discord is in the pinned comment. Thank you for watching this far. I really do appreciate your time and I'll see you soon. Bye.